Tomorrow, India King Cannon officially becomes mayor of Knoxville. That makes today the last at the helm for current mayor Madeline Rojero. New at 4, reporter Blake Stevens taking some time speaking with Mayor Rojero about the challenges she faced throughout her two terms. We built our campaign on diversity and inclusiveness, and that is how we will govern. And eight years later, Mayor Madeline Rojero says she's ready for a change. Uh, I'm looking forward to the next adventure in life. <laughs> Forward thinking. That's exactly how Vice Mayor Finbar Saunders describes working alongside Rojero throughout both of her terms. When you look back, you stop and you, you reflect back six or eight years or whatever, you think, my goodness, we've made some changes. And they've been positive. It's making those changes the outgoing mayor says she'll miss the most. You know, I guess you're never fully satisfied, right? Because there's more that you want to see. Rojero says she wishes more could have been done for issues like chronic homelessness, but she's proud of the economic strength and sustainability of the Knoxville she leaves behind. Two. Through things like installing 29,000 LED lights throughout the city, her administration cut greenhouse gas emissions by 20 percent. I think we have a responsibility. You know, I have kids, I have grandkids, and I truly believe we have a responsibility to leave Knoxville uh, better off than we found it, and that is in a number of ways, but particularly in a greener and more sustainable way. Rojero and her team also work to preserve natural resources through projects like the urban wilderness. She describes her job as mayor as a balancing act, investing in public infrastructure, encouraging private development, but also looking out for anyone left behind. I think the best of both, both worlds is having the market rate apartments, housing, even the, the like fancy condos come back but also, that's great, but you also have to make sure that you're balancing it with the uh, affordable housing units that we're focused on. While she's seen progress in areas like Central Avenue, the South Knoxville waterfront, Mayor Rojero says she's been strategic in adding affordable housing units as property values rise around the city. When it's time to make a decision that's tough, I mean, she, she, would, she will make it just like that, but she's got a, a definite uh, core of empathy that shows in a lot of the policies we've pursued. Deputy to the mayor Bill Lyons citing the Change Center aimed at helping young people in communities where violence is prevalent. We as a, as a city won't continue to grow and, and to be prosperous and to be safe for everyone if, if, if there are uh, folks who are left behind. If our kids are left behind, it's a direct impact on our workforce. I hope that the legacy that I leave is that it really takes a whole community to make this stuff work, right? That one person alone isn't, um, isn't the heavy in a community. It's not just the mayor or any individual business person or whatever. It takes a whole community working together. In Knoxville, Blake Stevens, WATE, 6 on your side.